The Playdate by Panic and Teenage Engineering is a tiny handheld with a crank that retails for about $179 and comes with 20 games. The screen is a super clear, high contrast, black and white screen that comes without a backlight. The surface looks like an e-reader and does a great job of catching light in many low light situations, but I'd still play this where you can sit near a light. It reminds me of how the original Game Boy screen needed light to be played, but this screen is much crisper than the original Game Boy. The play date is made of plastic, but the build quality is great, and the tiny crank is fun. Think of it like this. Love it or hate it, the unique controls give developers license to think outside of the box and come up with experiences that are tied into that gimmick. There's a curation of 20 games that release weekly for the users to download and play. I've had a blast playing these games, and without spoiling anything, there's a wide range of genres represented here. From platformers to adventure games and RPGs, to some games that are very hard to describe, but are still unique and fun. These games can be played in short sessions, and some games last a couple of hours or so and encourage longer play times. In addition to the games that come as a part of the season pass, users can create their own games or download games made by the community by sideloading them. The big hang-up will be the price. $179 is not cheap. That's nearly the price of a Nintendo Switch Lite. I won't lie, this little handheld isn't for everybody, but it is for me. I don't know if this unique gaming experience would feel the same emulated or just on a different console. I think I'll play this handheld a lot. It's a lot of fun, and I'm glad I got to take a look at it.